Today it became official. The Japanese pharmaceutical company Fujifilm Diosynth Biotechnology is expanding its footprint in Holly Springs. WRAL's NC Capital team broke this news last night. Now we know specifics of this $1.2 billion investment, an announcement coming just hours before the Japanese prime minister will visit North Carolina to talk about economic partnerships. Let's turn to WRAL Capital Bureau Chief Laura Leslie, who was there for the announcement. Laura? There's a little bit of politicking and a lot of cash, Lena, about $68 million in state and local incentives. But state and local leaders say the investment will be more than worthwhile. Governor Roy Cooper announced today that Fujifilm Diosynth Biotechnologies is adding a new facility to its Holly Springs location. It's expected to open its doors in 2028. This exciting investment will create one of the largest facilities in the world to perform cell culture or manufacturing of bulk medicines. The expansion will bring 680 more jobs and $1.2 billion in additional investment. The average salary will be more than $109,000 a year. If Fujifilm meets all its commitments, it could recoup part of the price tag through incentives in the coming years. The state is granting payroll tax rebates of up to $18 million. Wake County is chipping in up to $30 million and Holly Springs, $20 million. That adds up to $68 million over 14 years. That's a lot of money, but Cooper says it's a smart investment. Our economists predict that this project will lift North Carolina's economy by more than $4.7 billion over the next decade dozen years. The state's economic model forecasts the return on investment for this deal is nearly 300 percent, meaning the state will likely earn back three times the money it's putting in. Now, as for the politicking, Cooper said he met with the global head of Fuji during his trip to Japan last year. That's the same trip where he met with the head of Toyota. You might remember Toyota also decided to expand its facility last year. Alina? Very interesting how this all developed. Laura Leslie reporting live for us. Thank you.